Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel and happy whatever day it is that you're watching this. Um, so I use a couple of It Works products for the month of August, and of course I vlogged it. So stick around and find out what happened over this month. Back in, I would say mid-July, I had a girl reach out to me asking me if I would be interested in trying some products from It Works. And she's one of those girls that works for them, does it from her phone, all that jazz. Um, I've always been really skeptical of that stuff. I really don't think any of it works. However, she approached me and I was just kind of like, you know what, I'm going to once and for all either debunk this or be proved wrong and it actually works. She originally asked me to do 90 days. I only committed to a month. And the two products that I went for were the Keto Coffee and then the Thermofight XX. The keto coffee is obviously what it sounds like. It is coffee and it is and it is a keto version of it. So it's supposed to just basically keep you fuller longer and boost your metabolism, your energy, all that jazz. And then the Thermofight XX was actually dietary supplements. So it was pills, um, which she did tell me that whenever she was in describing the products to me, but I guess I just like forgot or it just, didn't really register to me what she meant by that. I've never taken diet, di dietary supplements ever in my entire life, so that was definitely new for me. How it worked was I just drank one cup of coffee a day, six to eight ounces, and then I took two of those pills a day with my two heaviest meals. I would just like to point out that I am not a doctor. I'm not any sort of medical professional at all. I have zero certifications in anything medical, so anything that I do, please don't take upon your own. I just did this on my own and on my own volition. Quickly, just before we kind of get into the month and what happened, I do show you pretty much everything that I ate uh, the entire month. Also, I do um, weekly weigh-ins. So each Monday I weigh myself and you'll see not only my weight, but like my bone density, my muscle mass, my water weight, all that stuff. And so you'll see how that fluctuates over the month. Um, the final weigh-in though, however, was on my very last day, which was um, Thursday the 27th, I believe it was. Um, so I did not weigh myself that Monday, but you will see point A, B, C, and then all the way to point D. I will be popping up in like the corners of the screen the workouts that I did throughout the whole month. They were just a mixture of actual workouts like lower body, upper body, core. There was some running and walking, um, a couple hits, just a bunch of different things. So I do make sure to incorporate all the things that I ate and did while I was taking these, using these products. Um, okay, so without further ado, I will show y'all the month and what happened and just how everything went. Okay, so it just looks like this. I'm gonna go for hot coffee today, so um, I guess I won't be using my Keurig. I'm just gonna um, boil, a, boil some water and just in the mug. While my water is boiling, I mean it, it smells like coffee, but it doesn't smell like it has a flavor. I mean like I wouldn't be able to tell you like what flavor this is. This is what it looks like. It's a little interesting if you ask me. Like it's white and brown. It's definitely like instant coffee looking. It like looks like powder. Um, I've actually never done instant coffee before, at least to my knowledge. I've never seen it, I should say. Um, I don't know, but it's like, it's got white stuff in it. Like y'all saw, like, so I'm gonna assume the white stuff is like the NCT powder or whatever, but who can be too sure? I'm going to have my first meal of the day, which is just two mini bagels, cream cheese, and salmon. Yeah, too, because I'm hungry today. Decently sized little pill there. Um, it's like black charcoal color. I don't know, but so I just made a smoothie for dinner. <laughs> it looks like honey mustard. <laughs> um, 
It's literally just mangoes, that's why. And then there's chia seeds in it, which is going to black dots, but you know, it looks like I'm just eating a bowl of honey mustard. Okay, day one, end of the day, this is what I weigh, my body fat percentage, my water weight percentage, um, muscle mass percentage, and then my bone density weight. Um, so we'll see how that fluctuates over the month. I made vanilla Greek yogurt with um, chia seeds, flax seeds, um, fresh blueberries, and a peanut butter granola. So it is eight o'clock and I'm finally gonna eat dinner. So I'm gonna eat this little wrap, nothing fancy. Um, and then I'm probably gonna have a slice of cheesecake because I want to, and I can. Good morning. It is now Thursday, which means it is day four. Last night, Sebastian and I went out for dinner. It is now 9.15 and I just made my cup of coffee. meal today it is 12 20 ish um i'm just having a breakfast burrito so i guess a brunch burrito whatever um it's got scrambled eggs spinach shredded cheese bacon um and then i did put some ketchup on it because i just felt like it it is 4 20 and i'm gonna have myself a pop tart because i want to so I just made some Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi, which is actually really good. We've had it before. I did not make this whole bag, by the way. Then I cut up some squash and zucchini, tossed them in the air fryer, and then I topped it with pesto. It's 7.45, so I'm gonna eat this. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. It is 11.30, and yes, I just got out of bed. So it's 3.30. We went on a target run and ended up eating out for lunch um, around like probably 2.15, 2.30-ish. We ate chips and salsa, queso and guac, and then um, I had two tacos. Okay, it is 9.20 and I'm gonna eat something because I know I need to. All right, got my smoothie. It's pretty pitiful tonight because I just don't feel like doing it. I honestly have a headache from my workout. Um, but I did frozen blueberries, almond milk, <clears throat> plain Greek yogurt, a scoop of peanut butter, cheese seeds, flax seeds, and then some cinnamon. filming today Sebastian and I ended up going out to brunch with some friends we probably ate around 1 1 30 and then we had friends come over and we had um, some burgers for dinner quickly though what I ate so for brunch I had French toast um, with a couple pieces of bacon and two Bloody Marys um, and then for dinner I just had one cheeseburger with some fries <music> had stuff going on but I had like 
I don't know, five or six bites of steak with blistered tomatoes and sauteed mushrooms and zucchini with roasted garlic. And then um, Spash and I just split a bag of popcorn. I did make sure to film my um, weight and everything. It is 8.33 and I have my coffee. Today is Sebastian's dad's birthday though and we're gonna go out to dinner with him tonight. <music> be nice and give y'all a quick little peek at tonight's spread. Also, sorry, Sebastian is blaring music per usual. But no, not finished product. Everything is still cooking. Pork chops are on the grill. Potatoes aren't, don't even have their stuff on it. But yeah, that's what we deal with it tonight though. So it's 9.25 and I literally just finished my coffee for the day and I completely forgot that I did not tell y'all that I made coffee or that I was drinking it. Okay, so it is literally only 5.30 but I'm gonna go ahead and like eat dinner. Okay, so this is super unappealing but I'm just kind of finishing off the leftovers we've had from this week. So this is like <clears throat> a half of a half of a steak with um, homemade chimichurri sauce on top. These are crispy potatoes with goat cheese and rosemary. These are the potatoes that we had last night, but they just don't look near as appealing as they did last night. <laughs> and then... Um, this is just some sauteed um, zucchini and mushrooms with, you know, lots of seasoning and stuff on them. Cheers, everybody. Oh, I really hope this brings me to life. Alright, it is four o'clock. I ain't gonna work out today. I already know it. I'm gonna have a snack because I'm not hungry enough for dinner, but I am hungry. Clearly, I could not decide what I wanted. So I've got tortilla chips and my like uh, vegan queso with my pretzel crisps and hummus. And uh, I'm gonna tear this up, let's be honest. about 115 so I literally just cut up an apple with some peanut butter and you can tell how long it's kind of been sitting here because it's already starting to brown Saturday I went to Sebastian's restaurant that he um, runs the bar for and I had a kale Caesar salad <music> Ho. It is 12.15. Sebastian brought me coffee at like 
10, 10 30 maybe. Um, I did not film my dinner last night. I'm so sorry. I just had like a normal size bowl of chili. It was a leftover chili from our chili cheese fries on Sunday. It's 10 15. I've literally just made my coffee. Okay, so I did not stir my coffee this morning. I literally just poured it and do y'all see that? that? That is literally disgusting. Uh, I don't even, I just, that's, that's just nasty. I don't even understand. This keto coffee officially is, is some bull crap. I'm just gonna let y'all know that now. And now for lunch, I'm gonna have this puppy. Hate on it. Just got back from my dinner with my friend. We had sushi. I just had the like normal house ginger salad thing and then two rolls. this morning it's already gone the contents are just so disgusting at the end I'm so over it y'all but I'm gonna finish the month y'all a quick game of ketchup uh so i didn't record really sunday um all throughout the day i just kind of had some orange rolls um i had a sandwich for lunch and then some chips and then for dinner we had pizza monday night we had burgers um so i had a cheeseburger with mac and cheese and like appetizer wise there were um pigs in a blanket and this like veggie wrap thing <laughs> Today is a really good day because today is my last day. able to notice literally nothing changed with my weight I guess if anything you can say when I first started I was lighter and then I ended up heavier at the end however I consistently stay between 133 and 135 it is very rare that I go anywhere outside of that little spectrum so to me it didn't alter anything at all 
I can't really say that the coffee gave me any more energy specifically. Also, as far as keeping me fuller longer, coffee does that for me in general anyways, I feel like. And then the two pills a day, I will be honest, I am pretty sure I missed one pill, possibly two pills. Didn't see or feel any sort of difference. Uh, overall, in my opinion, don't think it works. Uh, I wouldn't waste my money on it again. Uh, obviously, I'm not continuing. I only did it for the month, and that was that. I would like to share, though, I honestly, in a way, I feel like I was kind of like scammed, which I'm sure a lot of y'all were like, well, duh, I could have told you that. But I don't mean scammed and probably in the way that you would imagine I would be. I think it was like a couple ways. The first one was the way that she pitched it to me was just like, yeah, here's, you know, three separate months that you can, basically I can commit to the three months, but like after each month I can reevaluate if I want to keep going. And so I didn't think it was like a literal commitment for three months. Well, it turned out that it was. So not only did I have to pay for the stuff that I used this past month, when I went to actually go like cancel the next order and come out of it, turns out what I had, I guess, signed up for and didn't know was this thing called a loyal customer, I'm pretty sure. And anyways, it books you for three months. So you basically have to do it for 90 days. And if you decide you don't want to do it anymore before you complete your three, three months, you have to pay a fee. So I had to pay $50 to stop using it earlier than anticipated, which was super annoying. And I was like, okay, well, that's just like another reason why I'm not going to be using this anymore. I was just like, all right, cool, whatever. But it is what it is. And I paid for it. And that was that. But also what I was really disappointed about, when I the products first came in, I said, hey, products came in, blah, 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 because she had wanted to talk to me about them whenever they did come in. Well, she never answered me, which I thought was kind of weird. And then maybe like a week or so into it, I had a couple questions. So I reached out to her again and still never got an answer. Literally the entire time, I just kind of did it blindly obviously like I read the directions and everything on the products and I did go on their website and look at some of the stuff but I was like really confused and frustrated and disappointed honestly that she just ghosted me in the middle of it so basically I was like okay so you literally just used me to get your product to make yourself look good and then you just dipped out for me it's kind of like okay like, I get it. That's probably on me being an idiot, being a little too trusting and just being cool with everything. Like, yeah, sure, whatever. I'll help you out do this product thing and then the way you're helping me out because I'll vlog it. But it was like, okay, if you're actually wanting me to come continue to use your products and like actually like, I don't know, maybe give you a good review or support this company or whatever it is, you would think that you would see it out and whatnot and she never did and so that was really again like I said sad so the co the coffee overall it was weird so the flavor was kind of weird I don't even think it really had a flavor to be honest so I guess I can't even say it was that weird it just didn't really taste like anything to me also the MCT oil since it's like a fat or whatever whenever it cools down even like slightly the top layer creates a film and it's a film just like if you're eating like chips and queso or something and then the queso starts to cool on top that layer starts to film that's exactly what it was and it was super weird also the film had a flavor and I was like, what? It, it just was kind of super weird. So I didn't like that. Um, also the coffee smell burnt. It, if you saw, it always looked like it was like cookies and cream something because it never like fully dissolved. There was still like the, the dark brown, which I could tell was like instant coffee powder that wasn't mixed in and it was super frustrating and it just like didn't look appealing at all. And then how y'all saw it, how it like, was like congealed and solidified at the bottom after I like had mixed it and stirred it. And then even the one time when I did it, it was just disgusting. And I honestly am just kind of like a little grossed out that I put that on my body for however long, which is again why I say like I'm not a doctor, not anything certified, professional, medical, anything. So please don't take what I did and whatever. It was ugh, not my cup of tea. It just was like, whatever. I was so excited to have real coffee again um, that next day. Holy cow, I missed real coffee. I would like to point out, so the entire reason why I didn't actually do it for a whole month was because I, I was shorted coffee. 
So I got those two packets and in each one there's supposed to be 15. 15 plus 15 is 30, right? So technically my coffee should have taken me into September because I didn't actually start until Monday the 3rd. Uh, I was shorted, what, four or five coffees, I think. I Sebastian did have one of my coffees. So there was one day Sebastian wanted to try it, so he did make a coffee himself. But even without him, even with that, so instead of finishing Thursday, I would have finished Friday and I still would have had three more days left. But they're still missing coffee. So that was weird. And I guess, like, obviously I didn't think to check the packets or count them to make sure that all 15 were in both packets. I feel like that should just be a thing. So overall, I do not recommend it works at all. I think it works is a bunch of bull honk and don't waste your money on it like I did. Um, I learned the hard way for everyone who wanted to know. So take my information as you will. And that is that on that. Anyways, if y'all made it this far, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you did like this, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help a sister out. Also, if you have any questions about anything or if there's any type of vlogs that y'all want to see, please comment them down below. I'd be happy to do them, take a look at them, all that stuff, and answer any questions. Um, and subscribe so that way whenever I post my videos, you will know about it. Mondays at 11.30 on your lunch break, catch me, watch me, have lunch with me, let's do this thing. Thanks again for watching. Bye y'all.